We're going to talk about some NFL players before we get into our previews. And that would be Leonard Fournette got waived. Now, and I kind of want to juxtapo- uh, juxtapose these. Good gracious. That's a, <laughs> you would think I was smart if I didn't open my mouth, right? Uh, I want to juxtapose these two things. One is Alvin Kamara sitting out for the Saints. He has sat out the last three days of practice waiting for a new contract. And then you've got on the other side, Leonard Fournette, former first-round draft pick, former top-five draft pick, who has been cut by the Jaguars. They could not find a trade partner. They could not get a single draft pick for this guy. Nothing. Kind of crazy to think about, considering what he was coming in and then what he ended up being on the way out, right? And, and it's not like he's been bad. I mean, he, he rushed for – or he had like 1,500 yards from scrimmage, yeah. you know, He's not worthless, but I think leagues are finding out running backs just aren't worth that much, man. They're not. They're they're everybody's already not. got one. Why? Why give up an asset? Yeah, I mean that's that's the point, right? It, it, is he going to make your team any better? And and it's not that he's done anything crazy bad there. Yeah, he he. It, there were some locker room problems. Nothing crazy. Um, and he also had some. Uh, you know, there were there were other issues here and there. Like he had injury issues and whatever, but. You know, it, last year he was healthy. He was fine. He was a good was running good. back. And he was good. But but was he was he worth $4 million that they're going to well, owe him this year? And that's okay. where he's 100% worth $4 million. $4 million is chump change in, in, in well, for these salary caps. Okay, there aren't a whole lot of running backs working for less than $4 million. All right? So it ain't the money that kept people away. I think people are set pat on their team. And now the Jaguars doing this is dirty pool because – it's hard. Nobody needs a running back. Yeah. And, and that's the problem is everybody's already got them. They've already been through this weird ass camp. Bringing a new guy in today when you don't have the need is tough. It's a tough sell to the locker room because you want to support the guys that you've already got. And everybody kind of likes the team that they've got. Because you've got the same problem with Devonta Freeman sitting out there still as a free agent. Healthy, no issues, no problems, and nobody will go pick him up. Why? Because why? Why bring a new cog into the into the wheel right now when everything seems to be going good? Now, give this week four, guys will start getting hurt, and him and and Devontae will find a job quickly. Yes, I, I think you are correct. Now let's let's take that and let's talk about on the other side. That would be Alvin Kamara, who Alvin is Kamara is not a regular running back. Agreed. Uh, agreed. So I'm I'm curious. What this means for the Saints, what it means for the Jags. I, I mean, are we, are we firmly in the trenches with the Jags are tanking for yes. this next year? That's that's the decision they've made. They are they are they don't need they don't need Leonard because Leonard helps them win games, and I think they're going the opposite way of that. I, I we haven't see that. seen many NFL teams actually openly tank. Uh, I, I think we're gonna see that here in Jacksonville. I'll be shocked if they're really trying hard to win games all right now back to Kamara um do you think that they get a deal done do you think that they get I have no idea I'm tired of trying to predict NFL contracts uh, and what what guys think they're worth it I love Alvin I think Alvin is an elite player so much more than just a running back in today's football there are running backs like Leonard Fournette okay and then there are running backs like Alvin Kamara those guys are absolutely worth their weight in salt all right they they just are they they bring value to the team so much more than running the football. The problem is our team's willing to take them and pay them what they think, what their actual worth is because they've got that RV next to their name. If they yeah. had a WR next to it, it'd be fine. Well, and that's the thing. I, guys like Kamara, guys like uh, Christian McCaffrey, whatever, they are – a hundred percent like utility players, right? Well, yeah, they're Josh not, Jacobs is the same way. Yeah. I, we, everybody assumes that Clyde's going to be that same way. Like that's the wave of the future for running backs because a, I think those careers can last a lot longer. They're better investments because this engine can run for, for five to, to eight years because they're getting hit in open field, not squared up running through uh, the tackles. They're, they're not getting tackled by linemen and linebackers as much. They're getting tackled by DBs, and while those guys still hit, when they fall on you, they don't crush organs. This is true. This is true. Joseph Gomez jumps in. He said, 
Sadly, the Jags issue is partly due to Tom Coughlin's poor management. Oh, uh, yeah. No free agent wants to sign with the team. If you have absentee owners, it will eventually show through the team. Well, I, I, Tom Coughlin is gone. It's going to take them making some big deal moves. Uh, there's a couple of guys out there that I would give a call to to bring in as a GM and team president to, to revamp that. And I would very much, yeah, they got to get the, the owner's son away too. That guy seems to be an asshole that wants to stick his nose in business. Um, but, but you're exactly right. They, that team has, has some stink on them that they got to find a way to get off. Yes, they, they got to figure that out. Um, but, we'll, you know, we're not going to spend a lot of time talking on the Jags. We, we can go